Alrighty, so today we are going to be making our own custom header for our website. We are not going to be using Elementor Pro. We will be using the normal free version of Elementor though, so take that for what it's worth. Um, we're going to be using a plugin called Elements Kit. It's a free plugin from the WordPress repository. So let's get started. Okay, so from the back end of our website, we're going to go to plugins and we're going to say add new. So over here in add plugins, we're going to search for elements kit. Once the search results are coming in, we're going to say install now. Once it is installed, then we're going to activate it and we're going to get started. If you saw one of my older videos where we used a custom post template and we used a plugin called theme builder for Elementor. Now we're not using that one here because it's headers and footers aren't really that well designed just yet. The, the developer is still progressing with that. As an example, there's no actual navigation widget that's added into Elementor from that plugin. So that's why in this tutorial, we're going to be using Elements Kit. Okay, so now that Elements Kit has been enabled, um, we're going to head over to Elements Kit and we're going to say header footer. As a side note though, if you don't go into header footer and it wants you to register or set up first, I know in the newer versions it does ask you to do that. You can fill in the, the details, you don't have to buy anything, you can just skip it all. Once that initial setup has been done, then you can return back into header footer option here. So now that we're here in header footer, we're going to say add new. We're going to say it's a header. We're going to call this an example header for me, you call it what you'd like. We're going to say it's a header and I want it for the whole entire website. Now I want this active and I'm going to say save changes. Now we're going to go into our header, we're going to say edit, it's going to go back to that same screen and we're going to say edit content. I like it to be published first before actually doing the creation just in case for any reason you get disconnected from your website, it's just one step closer to the last thing that you did. So now that Elemental is loaded, you do have the option to import stuff from Elements Kit. Um, they do have nice sections, it's pre-designed. So you can actually choose any of these headers or footers and you can call it a day, I guess. But in this example, we are just going to create our own custom one so in the future you can custom tweak it anywhere you want. So the first thing we're going to do is going to add a section. We're going to click on the plus sign, we're going to say the section that we want. I want a two column section. I'm going to make sure that I'm on the section settings by clicking on the six dot icon in the middle. In the content width, I want this full width. I want no gap or columns gap. I want everything to be vertically aligned to the middle. The height, I want a min height of 60 pixels. Now this is a personal preference of mine, you don't have to do this. You can do it 80, 100 if you want, or 50. Um, but for me personally, I just like it to have it as 60 pixels. I do want this to have a stretch section. I want to make sure that this goes completely across the whole viewpoint of whatever device that we want. And the HTML tag, I want to have this as a header. Once I'm happy with these settings, I'm going to head over to style. I want the background color to be white. Now you don't have to have a solid color. You can have gradients or pictures or movies or whatever you'd like. Actually for this example, let's change this up a little bit. Let's do a gradient. I want white as the first color. I want a slight gray. I want the type to be radial and I want the location of the white just a little bit higher, maybe about 25%. So it gives this nice little fade off look going on for this header. For the board I'm going to actually add a shadow here. I like having shadows on my headers, this is a personal taste. It helps pop the header off the rest of the website page so it doesn't interfere with anything else, like you know that's the header. So I'm going to click on the shadow, I'm going to keep it as the default 50% uh, opacity and I'm going to keep all the other settings as is, 0, 0, 10, 0 um, because I'm happy with the way it looks. Now that we're done with that, I'm going to click on this 9 dot icon. Now here's all the widgets that we have for Elementor at our disposal. Elements Kit adds their own widgets and that's what we're going to be using here for our header. So in the search widget, I'm going to type out menu and I'm going to add the Elements Kit's navigation menu. I'm going to add it to the second column because that's where I'd like to have my menu. And the select menu option, I'm going to say my primary menu. As you can see, there it goes. The horizontal menu position, I want it on the right hand side. And all the other settings I'm going to keep as is. I'm going to head over to style and the menu height, I'm going to set this to about a 55 pixel, just so that it doesn't make my initial 60 pixel header bigger. So I'm going to make sure that it's a little bit smaller for the menu height. Other options over here is I'm going to click on menu item style. I'm going to keep the text color as is. The hover color, I'm actually going to change this to the global. 
and the active color as well. So I want the active and hover color, the global primary colors. I do that because if I want to change the primary color, I only have to do that in one place in Elemental and not have to remember everywhere else that I use that color. So now if I hover over anything in this menu, then you can see it is that primary color and obviously I can change it in that one place. The final thing I'm going to do on this menu is I'm going to go to advanced and I'm going to de-link all these values for margin. And on the right hand side, I'm going to add 15 pixels just to move it away from the edge of the screen. So now that I'm happy with the menu, something that I'm going to do now, so I'm going to drag the, the first column to about 20% width, and this is where I'm going to keep the logo of the website. So I'm going to have it in between the two columns until I have the icon that I can drag the column width. And I'm going to drag that all the way to say 20%. Now if I wanted the column to be smaller, obviously I can just make it smaller. So now over here, I'm going to select the image. I'm going to drag the image widget into this column. And here I'm going to select the logo that I want to represent the company. Now obviously this is too big. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it as a custom size. And for the height, I'm going to make it as 55 pixels. Again, so that it's not bigger than the initial header that I wanted. I'm going to hit apply. There's my little logo. Obviously it's a very small little logo. And then there's my menu. Once we're happy with this, all we have to do is click update. And there you go, there's the header for your website. So let's preview. And here you can see in a preview, the header that we made is now part of our website. And there we go. We made our own custom header for our website and we didn't have to use Elementor Pro to do it. Now this isn't the ultimate header in any shape or form, but it is a good one. I do encourage you to make your own designs and really get out there and what you have pictured as your own header of your website. I hope you enjoyed this really quick tutorial. If you have any questions on that, please give me a comment down below and let me see if I can help you out with this stuff. And with that, I will see you in the next one.